Hello everyone, it is I, Republic Studs, and today we have another bag. Now this is from Clone Army Customs, and this was actually, uh, you know, provided to me by my good friend Spartan Republic, who has a Discord server, and you can all check it out. He has some, uh, you know, Clone Army Customs leaks, uh, so if you want to see any of those, they just revealed the pictures, or leaked the pictures of the new Bad Batch minifigures. Uh, they look way better than Legos, and Lego did a pretty go darn good job. Um, but yeah, they also did that. They're doing giveaways of, you know, Lego clone troopers. So if you want to join that Discord, feel free. Uh, you know, Spartan is awesome. And yeah, so I cannot wait to get into this. So, you know, remember to subscribe, and let's go. So obviously we have some blind bags. I'm going to be setting a few of these aside. I'll be opening some in this video probably. Um, but yeah, so first off, all the figures and things and stuffs I've ordered uh, are coming in this nice little baggie right here. And I'll show you those in briefly. First, we have some helmets. I also got a figure, uh, which is very exciting. So let's open up the helmets. Uh, you know, let's do that. I'll just put the baggie over here, by the way. Love bubble wrap. You guys know that. Um, so first off, we have their 332nd Trooper. Now, this is their new, uh, you know, RP2 style. And the reason I got this um, is because you could basically take a file first Trooper, file first Battle Pack, 24 bucks, and it's going to save you a lot more money than buying official CAC. Or, or, you know, you could do whatever you want. And then, to get a 332nd Trooper, all you have to do is buy this helmet, which is $4 on Clone Army Custom site, and like that, you have a 332nd Trooper. Pretty sick, right? Uh, I know it's pretty darn simple, um, but it is a cheap and effective way to get 332nd Troopers, and if you're not a LEGO purist and you just kind of want a 332nd Army, this is a great way to do it. I think CEC's uh, 332nd Trooper just looks fantastic. Um, now, let's look at the next helmet I got, wink wink. So this is Commander Collar. Uh, and I already have a, like, CAC plain phase 2 white torso, and all I need to do is basically buy this helmet. I already have the capes from the Cape Cantina, which are great, by the way. Uh, so yeah, so all you have to do is pop this on. There's a little hood uh, that you go that goes on over it. It's a little complicated. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty complicated. Uh, I, I mean, it's not super complicated. Like, I'm doing it in front of you, but it's not particularly easy either. Okay. So let's just get it on in there. There we go. Because once the head's in there, then you're good. And then all you have to do is just pop in like so the commander collar thing. And I think he's supposed to have a cape, so let me get that. Or, you know, maybe he might not have a cape. I, I don't know, like like a back cape. Uh, but yes, yeah, so it's pretty detailed. Obviously, you know, the helmet is all nice. I like their airborne design. Uh, you know, collar is a pretty cool dude. He only showed up in Legends, I believe. Uh, but, you know, the cape cantina really wraps it around and brings it together. Uh, I just like him. There's not too much else to say about him, so let's move into the next one we got. So this is one of my older Clone Army Customs minifigures. This is Commander Neo. And, uh, you know, as you guys know, a while ago I sold off my, you know, old style of Clone Army Custom helmets because I like the new one more. Ooh, it's shaking. Uh, but yeah, so anyway, I got the new design for Commander Neo finally, and it looks sick. I absolutely love it. It looks sleek, too. You know, I, I, I like... The, the Clone Room Customs version of Neo. Now I'm starting to get, like, all the other commanders. I think I'm waiting for them to restock on, like, certain ones, uh, like Commander Fox, and we'll talk a little bit that about that in a second, but let's get into the big boy thing that I spent, like, 30 bucks on. I'm so excited about this one. So, yeah. So, for those who, who don't know, I do not own a Clone Army Customs Wolf, and I saw it was stocked, and I was like, okay, I've been waiting on getting a wolf forever, and this is, like, the perfect time to get one. Uh, so yeah, so I bit the bullet. I decided, okay, it's time to buy Wolf. I'll just pop in this visor piece. And by the way, this helmet looks gorgeous. Uh, this thing is really hard to pop in. I'm just having all the problems today with this stuff. Okay, it's in. That's pretty epic. Um, so yeah, and then I got him. Uh, I ordered him with this. Uh, they didn't offer the pistols, which was kind of disappointing. They should have for Commander Wolf, you know. Um, but I would have taken them if, if, you know, they did. Um, but they didn't. So that's fine, uh, but let's get him up on the figure stand. Now I'm sure a ton of you are like, studs, that looks pretty darn incomplete. Uh, and you'd be right, uh, he should have his cape, so I will borrow this one. This is a Wolfpack Cape Cantina uh, cape. Uh, from my boy Freshy from the Cape Cantina sent me a, a little while back. Um, but, y you know, I'm going to order one from him, like an official wolf one, uh, which should be pretty good. Um, you know, I'm just, you know, not as big of a fan of CECs. They don't hold up as well as Cape Cantinas, in my humble opinion. Uh, but yeah, so let's take a look at this figure. So here is Commander Wolf. So first off, you get the beautiful, beautiful toe printing, as per usual with Clone Army Customs. You get all the nice leg printing. You know, I, I, I cannot say enough, enough nice words about CEC. He's, uh, 
uh, doing unspeakable acts against the camera. Uh, then you get the torso, which looks all nice and dandy. I love the arm printing. Obviously, you get the wolf pack for Dave Filoni, my guy. Uh, and then you get the Commander Wolf, you know, obviously with his little antenna piece, uh, which is you have to get separately. I will say one thing about Clone Customs. Tyler, if you're watching this, if you could somehow make the, vi the these things, like these thin little pieces of plastic, if you make them like 50 cents, yeah, it would be much appreciated. They're just a dollar, which is really expensive um, for, for, for like something this big. It's like, I, I don't know, that's just me. Uh, you guys can tell me what you think of that. But the helmet, on the other hand, looks beautiful. And while looking at this, something I never noticed about the design on Commander Wolf's helmet, and this is going to sound really stupid, but it is the logo of the Wolf Pack, which is right here. It is just stretched out. See, like, there's, like, the ear, there's the mouth. I never noticed that. Did you have you guys like noticed that? That's something that's totally new to me. Also, we did get this bazooka gun, which looks very nice. And we also got a blaster with him, which is great. They do include some blasters, uh, just not the preferred ones. And then finally, I'll open a little weapons grab bag uh, just for fun. I so I need a scissor. I'm going to save the other two uh, for YouTube Shorts because I want to have a bajillion views one day. Uh, so. Okay, ready? Let's go. Oh, that's way too much. Oh my god. Okay, so here we go. Look at that. Clean cut. Let's put that back down so I don't get tetanus. Uh, and yeah, so let's go. Oh, that was a good pull. So first off, we have a bazooka gun, a bazooka Joe. Uh, that looks pretty good. It's nice and silver. You know, silver isn't my preferred, you know, Clone Customs color, but that's okay. The ones that are just like no-nos are the gold ones, you know. I don't know what they were thinking, making gold and pink. Uh, I, I just don't get the logic. You get Han's DC-15. It's a good mold, just, you know, I mean, it's a little thin up top, and pink is disgusting. Uh, and then also, uh, you have gold. Uh, this is the Commando Sniper Rifle, uh, which which is pretty neat. And then you have the gold gun. I, this, could, this, is, this could be used in, like, some situations. I understand that. Then you have a Rebel A15 rifle, and then you have the three black rifles. These are the ones that are actually, like, cool. Uh, so first off, we have a clone trooper gun, so we can give that to our 332nd trooper. This is a uh, grenade launcher. That That's what that is. I just had to think about that for a second. And then we'll give to Commander Wolf, we'll give him a scuba gun. Uh, this is the scuba gun uh, from the scuba arc uh, of the Clone Wars. And then finally, I guess we could give Collar, uh, you know, this is, I guess, a Clone Commander-themed episode, uh, another mortar. Uh, you know, this may or may not be me, but I'm like 85% sure they put mortars in every one of these. I don't know if mortars just don't sell well or what, uh, but they're in like pretty much every one. Uh, and I've been noticing that as I've been, you know, buying more and more of these. And I have been like selling some of them on Mercari, like the ones of the colors I don't want just because, you know, I don't need them. Uh, but yeah, so I think that is pretty cool either way. So I again want to give a huge shout out to my friend Sparian as well as, uh, you know, everyone over at Clonery Customs. This order in total cost me about $44, uh, $4, which isn't too bad. I think that was a pretty good price and, you know, we got a lot of bang for our buck here. I especially am very happy about get finally, finally getting a Commander Wolf. But with that said, I hope you guys all enjoyed. I will see you all in the next one. Remember to peace out and stay awesome.